There is a scripture in the uh, book of Joshua. It's like a lot of scriptures that you you may read it and kind of glaze over, but you really don't pay much attention to it. But as I have read through the scriptures, I said, that's a, that's a huge thing right there. And it's the uh, book of Joshua, chapter number six, verse seven. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was noise throughout all of the country. Joshua had become a household name among everywhere. I mean, everybody now knew who he was. And uh, I think truth being, there's a lot of people who'd like to have a little taste of that. That fame that causes you to be propelled to a household name. I think there's a lot of people that like to know what that feels like. But the truth is, it did affect Joshua, I believe. Because here we just had this tremendous success. I mean, literally had destroyed this huge city named Jericho. And it seen the hand of God work, and uh, not even to mention the crossing of the Jordan River. I mean, these were huge things that had taken place. And uh, to see the hand of God work in such a way, it very easily can bring out one's humanity. Because what happens, it happens often that we forget who really did the miracle. And we get, begin to think that we're something really, really special. And then uh, we become highly exalted within ourselves. We get caught up in ourselves. And uh, as the old expression is, we get full of ourselves. And the scripture tells us to be careful when you stand, least you fall. About the time that we start feeling a little too good about ourselves is about the time that we're about to get humbled. And, uh, well, that's exactly what happened. After this tremendous uh, uh, rout of the, those of Jericho and uh, Israel was feeling good about themselves. I mean, they had just, they just knocked down this huge city. Of course, God had done it, but uh, they were involved in it. And so now, Scripture tells us that uh, down the road a ways was this little city called Ai. And it was determined that uh, they didn't need to take the whole army down there, just two or three thousand, they said. Well, we'll whip them. They'll, we'll, have, we'll have them running with a tail between their legs. That's what they were saying. They, they were... They were just very, very uh, determined that they were the biggest and baddest things around. But they forgot. They forgot the source. And that's what this lesson is about today. We have to remember who our source is. Because when we forget that, then uh, we've lost the essence of the power that God has given us as children of God. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.